Hi all, it's Robbie from Southern California. A while back I did a live stream on making peanut brittle. It's actually not peanut brittle, it's nut brittle. So many of you wanted the exact recipe, how it's done, because it is fantastic, so easy to make. You don't need a thermometer or anything, just a microwave, a bowl, and some few little things to put this together. So what I did was I took excerpts from it, so this way you can follow along with watching eight minutes instead of two hours. First thing I want to do is get some nuts chopped. I love my chopper. I'm going to get that done. This is why Gary loves this. This is a small food processor I've had. It's very old, but it works perfect just to chop the nuts. Not like sawdust, but it will chop it to very small, fine pieces. Okay. All right, so this is what I do. My thing is, I don't know if this little tiny microwave is going to work. So that's what we're going to find out. All right, now, before we get really serious, you want to have everything ready. So we need a cup of sugar. We have a cup of sugar. I'm going to. Before I get really, really serious, I want to oil this pan. That's the first thing. I'm just going to, I just want to make sure the pan has to be oiled. You want to make sure your pan is well oiled before you start. All right, so we need a half a cup. Where's the half cup? Where is the half? There is the half cup. Now, this is just plain light corn syrup. It's basically one to half is what it is. All right, so now we've got a half a cup. Where, there's my wooden spoon. This is, yes, to 450 degrees. All right, so now I wanna make sure I get this out. Now here I'm adding in the half a cup of corn syrup to the one cup of sugar. That's it right now. Just those ingredients. Okay, half a cup of corn syrup, one cup of sugar. My notes are a dash of salt, literally a dash. Good enough for me. You don't need to put a lot of salt in because the nuts I'm using, that has, and you know what, there is something else I want to do. Let me get a bowl. Because I want to have this ready and I want to have the vanilla ready. You have to work really, really fast. So we're going to put one and a half in here. The one and a half teaspoons of baking soda goes in a separate okay. bowl for later. And we're going to start to stir it. So right now we're just going to stir it up. Got my nuts ready and everything ready. So right now we're stirring the two sugars together, the corn syrup and the white sugar. The nuts are in their separate bowl and the baking soda in a separate bowl, not added in yet. We will be microwaving in small increments. We're starting with four minutes. Okay, we're gonna microwave for four minutes. I have also found that if you want to take it out and stir it up earlier, it doesn't matter. So we're gonna stir this up really good. We're gonna put this back in for about two minutes. So you can see it's real white right now. We're working on making the sugars turn amber. Keep that in mind. And we want to work at a slow pace so we do not burn our sugars. On the peanut brittle, oh, it smells good. Okay, now you know what? Before I add in the nuts, which I could do, I'm going to add in the nuts. We're gonna, this is starting to look really good. Let's stir this up. Looks like so good. We're going to go ahead and add in the nuts. Just about a cup of nuts. Or it's going to definitely go back in again for another two minutes. I have personally found that if I wait on the nuts and don't put it in right in the beginning, the first heating, the nuts don't burn and they won't overcook and get super hard. So I can see it just starting to go golden. Now you can probably see it just starting to go golden now. You don't have to rush, you don't have to hurry. It works so good. Now we're going to put the butter in. Butter in there. I use, I don't think they all say put it in, as long as you put in a whole stick. I think this is more than enough. That's about a half a stick. You can even go less. I have gone less. No worries. We do not put in the baking soda yet. That is at the very, very, very end. When you know it's ready to pour is when you put that baking soda in. Just before you pour, you're going to put the baking soda and the vanilla or almond flavoring, whatever you prefer, okay, let's in. in for another two minutes. Okay, we're going to put that 
pull it up before because I think it's getting close. I have to make sure it turns golden. I'm going to wait. I need it to go golden. It's not golden yet. I have found that once we get that golden or amber color, we are good to go and start to pour. You won't need a thermometer. I've never needed it. Yeah, we know. What I'm trying to do is get the handle that's in the front to me. There we go. That's what I want. Now, it looks like I really think it should be a little darker. You want it to be just a little bit darker? It's so light. I'm going to let it go another minute or two. Now keep in mind this is 700 watts and the one I usually use I think is closer to 900. It will lighten once it starts to harden. No, this is a tiny microwave like you would have in a dorm. Put it in. We're close. We're close. So here I'm putting it in for another two minutes, but I'm watching it now for that amber color. I'm waiting for it for the handle. I'm going to grab the handle when it's closer to me. This microwave has a turntable in it. I am going to go for it. Now, I'm not 100% sure if it's amber or not, but it looks pretty good. So now what we're going to do is get the baking soda in. This is going to froth up really, really, uh -oh. really fast. And this is when you have to start to get ready to pour it. This gives the oxygen in the peanut brittle. And this is what makes it so it's not a rock. You don't want a rock. You want to make sure that you get all that throughout. Now it's a matter of just pouring it. Make sure it's throughout the whole thing and just start pouring. You'll see what it's, it's a chemical reaction. So it's starting to like bubble. So it puts air in there. And do not kid yourself. I do eat from the bowl. Once it's cool, once it's cool. Quickly pour and spread as thin as you like. Make sure you put the bowl in the same place because it is really, really hot. So as you could see, I forgot the vanilla, but let me tell you something. I never missed it. And now you just wait till it cools and then you start breaking it up. Oh, there it goes. See, it's a little thicker than I like. I'm going to kind of knock it around. I like getting small pieces because... Yeah, I'm going to break this into smaller pieces because you eat too much of this. I have to get a jar. So that's all there is to this. And keep in mind to make sure that baking soda goes in the very last stir. And that makes it like a honeycomb. That's what makes it fluffy when you bite into it. We like the small nuts because it's easier to eat. Maybe when you get older, you don't want big nuts. But I'm telling you, we absolutely love it. I'll get another video up soon with close-ups. You can see how it is. But I wanted to get this out quick because the holidays are coming and you don't have to watch the live feed that was two hours. I hope you enjoyed this. Have any questions, go ahead and ask. I'm putting the recipe up so you can just copy it and use it. With that, have a wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye everybody and happy eating. Oh, this is so good. And please like and subscribe.